Hi, my name is Bintu and today I'm going to teach how to run loops in JSP. Java server pages, one of the very fine scripting language used for creating fully featured and sophisticated web applications. Being an open source, it's very much in demand. I hope that you have seen my earlier two videos on YouTube. The first video is to run how to run your JSP program in NetBeans. These are the URLs for that. One is in English language, another is in Hindi language. And the another video tutorial explains how to pass your data from one JSP form to another. Please have a look to these two videos before going on with this video. It will help you a lot. I'll be doing everything practically to make you understand properly. So the first step, I'll start with my NetBeans IDE. Again, very popular IDE, which is highly used for creating Java desktop applications. You make web enabled applications. You can make enterprise Java applications. So this is the first screen of NetBeans. I have written some code for you already. You go into file, new project. Because you're going to make a Java web application, you have to select Java web category from here, web application here. Click on next. It is asking you the name of the Java application. So you write say JSP loops. Give any name to it. Click on next. It is asking you what server that you are going to use for checking your JSP scripts. By default, it will show you Apache, Tomcat, let it be. Another uh, server that you get with NetBeans is Glassfish. You can choose whatever you want to. I want to go ahead with Apache. Next, it is asking you what compiler that you'll be using for compiling your JSP. Recall my last videos, I have told you that all JSP code has to be converted into Java servlets first. And then Java servlets is compiled to create HTML code which is sent to the client's browser for display. This is the Java version. It is selected by default. Let it be. Click on next. It is asking you which framework you want to use for your application. Because this is just a simple application that I'm going to create. So I don't need any of these frameworks. By the way, it is showing you all the four options. Spring, JSF, Struts, Hibernate. Let's not select any of them. Click on finish. This is your project that is created for you. This is the index.html which is created for you with the default content auto generated for you and obviously it will display one line to do write content but i don't want this html file i'll right click it and select delete option to delete it on this web pages node click on new add a jsp form let's give the name as say loops Select the JSP file standard syntax option. You don't want to create any segment. You don't want to create JSP doc. So let's select the default. Let it be the default. Click finish. So it will create one JSP file for you again with auto generated code, auto code. This is that it will display this JSP code will display hello world. Let's check it up. Uh, right click on the file, select run file option. It will initiate the browser and give you the output. Obviously, internally it is converted into Java sublets. Then HTML code is generated after compiling the sublets. So see the output hello world. Okay, but I want to understand loops. So this is the code that I've written already for you. Uh, this is the simple HTML code. Title for loop app. Here this is the code, right? Let's see it. Here it will display sequence number from 1 to 10 in bold. This is the bold tag and this closes the bold appearance so the you get the output sequence number from 1 to 10 in bold break of line the control will come onto the next line this is the indication that jsp code is going to start and this that jsp code is over so the code between these two tags less than sign percentage and percentage sign and greater than sign is considered as the jsp code which will be converted into java sublets this is a simple for loop which if you have done any programming language before that c c plus java whatsoever you must be knowing about this uh, for loop. Anyway, it is initializing the value of i to 1. And here, uh, for the time the value of i is less than 10, it will run this body of the loop. This opening, the, the code between this opening and closing break, braces is known as the body of the for loop. So because this 1 is less than equal to 10, this logical expression is true. It will go inside the loop. It will out dot printer and means it will display on the screen. It will display the value of i. The value of i is 1. So after displaying 1, the cursor will come on to the next line. The moment cursor comes here, it will jump here to run this code. This i++ means increment the value of i by 1. The value of i will become 2. 
it will come here to check this logical expression whether it is still true is 2 less than equal to 10 yes it will go inside the loop it will print 2 break off line it will go on to the next line it will come here it will jump here to run this statement the value of i will be incremented by 1 so from 2 it will become 3 is 3 less than equal to 10 yes it will print 3 4 up to 10 after 10 it will come here it will make the value of i as 11 is 11 less than equal to 10 no it will come here and the code is over so let's see whether it works i'll just copy this code and will replace this body element here let's run it right click on here click run file option sequence number from 1 to 10 this is from 1 to 10 so this means this for loop is working perfectly right let's go ahead next is a while loop it has a body of the loop it has a logical expression and for the time this expression is true it will run the code within its body what this code is going to do it is going to display sequence number from 5 to 1 in reverse order 5 4 3 2 1 so what i'm doing here is this is the beginning of jsp code closing of the jsp code the value of i is defined as 5 this is a while loop it has a logical expression here for the time this expression is true it will run this body of the loop is 5 greater than or equal to 1 yes it will go inside it will print the value of i that is 5 the cursor will come onto the next line this statement will be executed this decrements the value of i by 1 the value of i will become 4 on reaching this closing basis the, the control will jump over here to check whether this logical expression is still true or not if it is true it will go inside the body of the while loop otherwise it will jump here outside the body of the while loop because 4 is greater than or equal to 1 it will go inside it will print a value of i that is 4 cursor will come on to the next line the value of i will be decremented by 1 it will become 3 so it will display 3 2 1 after 1 the value of i will become 0 it will come here it will jump here to check the expression is 0 greater than or equal to 1 no it will come out so in any case it is going to display the sequence number from 5 to 1 let's copy it i'm just replacing the content between the body tags right i will just right click on the jsp file click on run file option sequence number from 5 to 1 so this is working perfectly similar to while loop is a do while loop the only difference between the two is that here the expression is checked once the the loop is executed that means this loop will run at least once whatsoever the logical expression is whether it is true or false what it is doing again it is displaying the sequence number from 5 to 1 jsp code the value of i is initialized to 5 this is the do loop it will run this line it will display the value of i that is 5 cursor will come to the next line the value of i is decremented by 1 it will become 4 now here by the this closing basis this is the logical expression it will check if the logical expression is true it will go and jump up and it will execute this body if it is not it will come out is 4 greater than or equal to 1 yes it will display i the value of i that is 4 come to the next line the value of i will be decremented to 3 is 3 greater than or equal to 1 yes 3 2 1 become 0 is 0 greater than or equal to 1 no it will come out the main difference between while and do while loop is that this loop will execute at least once for example if the value of i initialized to 0 it will go here it will display the value of i as 0 the value of i will be decremented to minus 1 is minus 1 greater than or equal to 1 no it will come out but at least it has executed once and it has displayed 0 let's run this do while loop right click and run file option sequence number from 5 to 1 this is your arrays arrays are used for collecting similar items like this is an integer array it is collecting five integers you can have any number of them and why i am going explaining you arrays because in the lectures that will be coming i'll be explaining how to read the check boxes or the combo boxes the values entered in the option boxes by the user the user can select more than one option also so the values that are selected by user are accessed through an array so i'm just giving you just a small description of how the arrays are used in jsp so this is declaring as int array as one array and it is defining it as an integer array and it is assigning these values to it these are these opening and closing square brackets see this is the square bracket opening and this is the closing square bracket this is just to say that this is an array you can initialize some value inside it for suppose you want to make it a array of 10 elements you can write 10 
right now no value is there inside because i want the compiler to decide it from the number of elements that i have defined for it it will count that these are five elements so it will make the array of five length the values in an array are stored and are assessed through indexes or subscript first value will be assigned to zeroth subscript this will be assigned to one this will be assigned to two so these values are assigned to zeroth till fourth subscript of int array that is why i am using the for loop which will run from 0 till 4 it is displaying the value of int array and here you are mentioning i and the value of i is 0 so it will display the zeroth subscript value that is 9 after displaying 9 the cursor will come to the next line the value of i will be increment to 1 it will display the int array at the first subscript position and what is that value that is 2 the value of i will be increment to 2 it will display the value at the second index location that is 0 4 1 that way it will display all the values ranging from the subscript 0 to 4 let's run this again i'll copy this right click and run by option see all the array elements are displayed one thing more before finishing this lecture whenever you feel like documenting your code you want to explain what is this code for you can use the jsp comments whatever is enclosed between this opening tag and this closing tag that is less than sign percentage and two hyphens and then two hyphen and percentage and greater than sign is considered as a comment it won't be compiled into java subnets and no output will appear between whatever the code is written between these two tags so you can use it for isolating the code for debugging so this is my lecture if you find any problem Mail me at bmharwani at yahoo dot com. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.